Okay, um, Elsa, so can you read next? Um, sure. Thank you. No problem. So let me read next. But Mr. Falker caught her arm and sank to his knees in front of her. You poor baby, you think you're dumb, don't you? How awful to you to be so lonely and afraid. She sobbed. But little one, you don't understand. You don't see letters or numbers the way other people do. And you've gone through school all this time and fooled many, many good teachers. He smiled at her. That took cunning and smartness and such bravery. Then he stood up and finished washing the board. We're going to change all that, girl. You're going to read. I promise you that. Okay, everyone. So who would like to read next? Who's someone who hasn't read yet? Can I read next? Sure you can, Rahul. You can. Thank you. No problem. Okay, my turn to read next. Okay. Now, almost every day after school, she met with Mr. Falker and Miss Plessy, a rain teacher. They did a lot of things she didn't even understand. At first, she made letters in sand and then big sponge letters on a blackboard, going from left to right, right to left. On other days, she flicked the letters on the screen and she just shouted them out. Still, other days, she worked with wind blocks to build words, letters, 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 words, 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 all of sounding them out, and that felt good. But though she read words, she hadn't read a whole sentence, and deep down, she still felt dumb. And then one spring day, hadn't been three months or four months since they had started, Mr. Falker put a book in front of her. she never seen it before. He picked a paragraph in the middle of the page and pointed at it. So, Rahul, let me tell you something. So, um, when she ran that down from letters, 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 words, 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 and they all of a sounded out and that felt good, and though she ran words, she hadn't read a whole, whole sentence, and deep down she still, she still felt dumb. What is the one spring day, Rahul? Hmm. Well... Let me guess. So, um, I might have to say, Mr. Falker put a book in front of her because she has never seen it before. So, Mr. Falker, Mr. Falker picked in a paragraph in the middle of the page and just pointed at it, right? Yes. But what? But why is doing that while he's putting the paragraph in the middle of the page and pointing at it? Um, I think you might have to find out. Okay. Okay. Well, can you read it? See what happens. Okay. So, let me read and see what happens. Almost as if it were magic, or is it light poured into your brain, the words and sentences started to take shape off the page as they never had before. She marched them off to, slowly she read a sentence, then another and another, and finally she read a paragraph, and she understood the whole thing. She didn't notice that Mr. Falker and Miss Plessy had tears in her eyes. So, Meredith, let me tell you something real quick. So... As if it were magic, the light poured into your brain, the words and sentences started to take shape on their page as they never had it before. Because she already, she marched them off too, and she read a sentence, then another and another, and then finally read a paragraph and understood the whole thing. But why is, but why is happening from the magic? Um, because magic is kind of, kind and of poured into her brain, and then the stars, words and sentences started to take shape on their page as they never had it before while she's reading a book like Trisha did, while she's reading a book, says she marched them off to, and slowly she read a sentence, another, another. She read a paragraph, finally, and understood the whole thing. And then she didn't notice that Mr. Falker and Miss Plessy had tears in their eyes. Right? That's right. Well, you did a good job, Rahul. Thank you. And thank you for reading with us. You're welcome. Who would like to read next? Should I read next? Sure you can, Candy. Thanks, Rahul. You're the red panda boy the biggest brother in the whole world. Aw, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to read next, and then Sam is going to read the last page, okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to read next. That night, Trisha ran home without stopping to catch her breath. She bound up the front steps, threw open the front door, and ran through the dining room to the kitchen. She climbed up on a cupboard to grab a jar of honey. She went to the living room and found a book on a shelf, the very book that her grandma had shown her so many years ago. She spooned honey on the cover to taste the sweetest and said to herself, The honey is sweet and so is knowledge. But knowledge is like the bee who made honey. It has to be chased through the pages of a book. Then she held a book, honey at all, close to her chest. She could feel tears roll down her cheeks. But they weren't tears of happiness. She was happy. So very, very happy. Okay, so let me tell you something. Um, I'm Candy. So when she says, and so is knowledge... But knowledge is like the bee who made honey. It has to be chased through the pages of a book. And she could feel tears roll down her cheeks. But why is, she, why is she not feeling tears with happiness or sadness? So which one? Is it happiness or sadness? Hmm, probably sadness. Sadness? Yeah, because she weren't tears of sadness, but not happiness. Because she was very happy. So very, very happy. Right? Right. And so... Can Sam can read the last one? Yes, I can. Okay, Sam, go ahead. 
go ahead. Thank you. No problem. Okay, Candy, you can go have a seat. Okay. Okay, on the last one. Okay, Sam, so can you read this this message from thank you, Mr. Falker, to, to listen for us? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Alrighty. Okay, so it's not the end of the the end of the book. The author is wanted to surprise for us while I'm reading. Okay, Sam. Okay, everyone, listen. The rest of the year became an odyssey of discovery and adventure for little girl. She loved to go to school. I know because that little girl was me, Patricia Palago. I saw Mr. Volker again some 30 years later at a wedding. I walked up to him and introduced myself. At first, he had difficulty in placing me. Then I told him what I was and how he had changed my life so, so many years ago. He hugged me and asked me what I did for a living. Why, Mr. Volker, I answered. I make books for children. Thank you, Mr. Volker. Thank you. Okay, everyone, that's the end of the, of the Thank You, Mr. Volker for today. The end. So, everyone, what do you think about the front of the story? Wow, Amerita, uh, I love this story for Thank You, Mr. Volker. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. This is the best story of the Patricia Polacco Thank You, Mr. Volker I have ever seen from the in whole entire life. Yeah, me too. And us three. Well, I'm glad you like it, girls. Curls! Um, who said that? Um, I don't know. It might, it might be someone is calling. I think somebody was calling. It is calling for someone. Well, okay. Well, you might have to see. Hello, everyone! Oh, hello, Vicky. How are you? We're just doing good. How is the book? It was good. We just already read. It's called Thank You, Mr. Falker by Patricia Pelago. So we've already read it before, right? Yes. So I might have to tell from these animal friends and especially Mimi. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So let, let, let me tell them if wants wants to pick from the backyard against character, okay? Okay. And so Rojo, you are the red panda boy, so which character of the backyard again is going to be? Hmm. I might have to say Tyrone. Tyrone? Yes. Okay. So let me go talk to Mimi. Okay, Mimi, so what is your character of the backyard again is going to be? I might have to say Uniqua. Uniqua? Yeah, this is my character. Oh, okay. Okay, so who would like who would like to go next? Okay, White, so if you if you are the dog, what is what is your favorite backyard again character is going to be? Hmm, my favorite character is Pablo. Pablo? Yes. I'm going to be my character, Pablo. Oh, okay, White. Okay, so I might have to go get a bear and fox named Hart and Nicholas, okay? Okay. Okay, everyone, so I'll be right back. I might have to go get Hart and Nicholas. Oh, hi, Hart and Nicholas. How are you? We're just doing good because we're just doing exciting from the Backyard Again songs. It's called Blazing Paddles. Oh, I'm excited too. Are you, um, um, Mime? Yeah, I'm excited. Me too. Okay, um, Nicholas, so... What is your character from Backyard Again is going to be? Um, Tasha? Tasha? Yes. I'm going to be my character. Okay, so Bear? I mean, Heart? So, what is your last Backyard Again character is going to be? Well, um, um, Vicky, I might have to say Austin. Austin? Yeah, because that's my character too. Oh, okay, Heart. Okay, so your characters is Tyrone, Tasha, Austin, Uniqua, and Pablo are doing from the backyard and songs from Blazing Paddles, right? That's right. And for you? Yes. Me too. Okay, so who would like to come from the concert and sing the backyard and songs with them? Me. We want to come. Okay. Okay, so we'll, I'll see you at the concert. See you at the concert, Vicky. See ya. Oh, hello, Isabella. I thought you're not coming. I know, because I'm back. Remember, sis? Oh, yeah, I do remember. Okay, um, Isabella, so you might have to come to come with me to the, the, from the superhero, from, from the superheroes from The Incredibles 2. So, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, and so is you too, a uh, meter bell, is Rojo and Malin and Meme. Both of you come join us from the superheroes from biggest costumes from any supers in the, in the world. So you, you might have to come with me from the superheroes from The Incredibles 2, and especially for all of the superhero friends. Oh, okay. Alrighty, so so Isabella, Rojo, Mirabelle, Malin, and Meme, 
come with me from from the superhero accord, okay? Okay, Miraculous. Okay, so get your superhero costumes back on. So let's get going. Alrighty, um, superhero friends. So I really have to go for a superhero accord from from Miraculous. So I'll see you then. See you again, Umrojo. But don't worry, I'll be back soon. See you next time, girls. See you next time, um, um, Mirabel. Okay, come on, Mimi and Malin and Isabella. Coming. Come on, Madeline. Coming, Mimi. Okay, everyone, so they already ran for superhero friends and especially Miraculous, so we should probably go home early, so we probably have to go to bed late because it's only um, 7.30, so we really have to go to bed early because he'll probably have to go to school tomorrow again, so let's, let's go back to our beds, okay? Okay, Merida. Alrighty, so come on, everyone. Alrighty, everyone, so let me take from the attendance. Rojo, here. Malin, here. Meme, here. And Mirabella, Isabella, we're here. Okay, superhero friends, so we have to wait until the superheroes get here. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll might have to wait about, about less than a minute. Whoa, look who's back. I saw Miraculous and the other superhero friends. Oh, hello. You are a Catwoman too, right? Yes. So Miraculous, this is Superwoman 2. Superwoman 2, this is Miraculous. Oh, hello, I'm um, Super, Superwoman 2. Hey, Miraculous, how are you? Oh, and I really like um, um, a Ladybug superhero costume. I like it. Thank you. No problem. Um, what is your superheroes are those? Good question. So this is Mirabelle, Isabella, Mene, Malin, and the Red Panda Boy, Rojo. Superhero friends, this is Superwoman 2. Hello, Superwoman 2. How are you? Doing, doing good, uh, Malin. How about you? I was doing good. This is Mene. Oh, hello, Superwoman 2. Any other superhero friends? Hey, how are you? Doing good. How are you? I'm superhero, um, 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 friends. Um, we're just doing good. How about you? Doing good. Alrighty, superhero, um, um, friends. So, I might have to tell you something real quick. So, pay attention, pay attention to me while I'm talking, okay? Okay, Miraculous. Okay, so this is a very important to me. So, we're going to watch that movie called Incredibles 2. So, Winston Devers is going to talk about from our superheroes legal again at the Death Tag Yacht. A Death Tag Yacht? Um, what does that mean? It means to make our superheroes legal again. Oh, okay, Miraculous. That's a good guess. Yes. So, Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, and Frozone are meeting Winston Dever and Evelyn Dever. So, they're doing at a Death Tag Yacht to make our supers legal again. Okay. And so, um, superhero friends, so I might have to tell you something for an evil bad guy. Oh, and what's that? Well, the bad guy is, it's called the Screen Slaver. The Screen Slaver? The Screen Slaver? What does that mean? Well, it means the Screen Slaver said it will take, it will take from the ambassador's he helicopter that was flying over the city with a foreign ambassador on board. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good guess. But what if the screen slaver, the evil bad guys, his name is Pixie the Queen, Dora, Malin, Robot, and Dinosaur, are doing for screen slavers for everyone? Good question, um, superhero friends. So when, when we see them, we're just going to fight them. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, us too. Alrighty, so we're going to watch this whole movie thing. It's called The Death Tag Yacht from The Incredibles 2. So I hope you guys to watch, okay? Alrighty. Okay, so when I pause, I'm going to tell you all about it, okay? Okay.